We're gonna make a broccoli rabe. Arichetti. All we've done for the broccoli rabe, which is anti-carcinogenic, it's a cancer fighter in and of itself, all we've done is a boil it, we call it blanching, but really this is very bitter. So I boil it a couple minutes in a little bit of salted water, put it in a cold bath and let it uh, drain, pat it completely dry, and then we'll chop it up for our dish. We're gonna make arichetti or little ears, little ears of pasta, right? You guys know this dish, it's a classic. And in the pan here, I have some onion cooking. Once the onion is sweat and translucent, we can add our garlic to the pan. Now, here's where the choices come in. To keep this completely vegetarian, which I do for many, many friends and members of my family, uh, I start with the onion, I add the garlic, and then to spice it up, I add Calabrian chili paste. Just a little bit of vinegar and some chopped up chilies, right? If you are a person that eats meat, I actually took an audience vote on this in this one, you can add this funny stuff. This is called induya. Induya is, it's basically sausage paste. It's a, like a salami paste. You can spread this straight up on charred bread, and it's delicious. Um, you can use a couple of ounces in a dish to add a little bit of salty flavor in the background that is also adding heat at the same time. So if you use Nduya, you're not going to use Calabrian chili paste. If you're a vegetarian, you're gonna go with the paste. All right, so the audience uh, chose, we're doing the sausage paste, so I'm stirring that into the onion. Now we're going to add the garlic. We don't put the garlic necessarily first because we don't want the garlic to bitter or brown before the onions have sweat out a bit. For the pasta, this one is a good quality Italian pasta. It's gonna take a little longer um, than maybe some other brands. So I'm gonna drop it kind of now because this thing goes pretty quickly. Like we're almost there, you know what I mean? Because we've got the anduja melted, the onions are cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop him. We always liberally salt the pasta when we add the pasta to the water. So now we're going to add in the greens and we always layer in our flavors. So whenever I cook with dark greens, we add a little hint of nutmeg. It brings out the depth of flavor in dark greens that are good for us. Now we're just going to marry this guy with everybody in the pan, just kind of folding it over again and again. We don't wanna take it too far. Now, what's delightful if you're making the vegetarian version of this, especially, it adds such a layer of flavor our semi-dried tomatoes. We take our reserved little mug full of our starchy pasta water. We've undercooked this by a minute. I'm turning the stove off so I don't set the mob heat on fire. <laughs> I won't be able to see you for about 30 seconds because you know what happens to glasses when they get too near the steam. Pasta facial, but I can't see you. <laughs> true it's so true oh, oh gosh okay so now we're going to take oh, all of the sauce and all of the pasta the starchy cooking water our cheese And a little extra drizzle of olive oil. Good EVOO, nice fruity, fatty olive oil. Uh-huh. And this is why we undercook. Because now we stir vigorously for like a minute to get that all to marry in that delicious hot tub of love we got going on. Oh! 